Dividing rational numbers. Rational numbers include the majority of numbers that you work with each day. They can be added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided. In this video, we'll explore how to divide rational numbers. Let's begin by reviewing the definition of a rational number. All rational numbers can be expressed as a fraction with a denominator that does not equal zero. It's important to note that even numbers that are not written as fractions may still be rational numbers. A whole number such as five may be rewritten as a fraction by placing it over one. Decimals may be rewritten as fractions too. For instance, three tenths is equivalent to three over 10. Now that we know about rational numbers, we're nearly ready to begin dividing. Now let's review the parts of a division problem. The number that is written first or inside the division symbol is the dividend. The number written second or to the left of the division symbol is called the divisor. The solution is the quotient. When dividing two whole numbers, use basic long division. Work from left to right. Each time, follow the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. If you need to solve a division problem that involves fractions, begin by turning any mixed numbers into improper fractions. Keep the first fraction the same. Next, flip the divisor upside down. Finally, multiply instead of dividing. Sometimes your divisor will have a decimal. To eliminate this, move the decimal place in the divisor until it's a whole number. Then, move the decimal place in the dividend the same number of times. Finish with basic long division. Remember, if a decimal remains in the dividend, simply bring it straight up into the quotient. What happens if the problem contains both fractions and decimals? Begin by deciding if you want to carry out the operation on the rational numbers as decimals or as fractions. Whatever you decide, both the divisor and dividend should be fractions or decimals. Up until now, all of the problems have contained positive numbers. If negative numbers are present in the dividend or divisor, then how do we decide if the answer is positive or negative? If the divisor and the dividend have the same signs, then the answer is positive. If they have different signs, then the answer is negative. Now you're prepared to correctly solve many types of division problems involving fractions and decimals.